The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. Jesus is the light of the world. The Word made flesh, light for our path in all circumstances. And today we celebrate the life of a saint full of light, St. Thomas Aquinas, that the majority of us know, for, know him for his works, especially his Summa Theologia or Summa Against the Gentiles, maybe his commentaries in the Gospel of St. Matthew, St. John, all the letters of St. Paul, so many homilies, and the Church gave him the title Doctor, Angelic Doctor, the Angelic Doctor, because he had an intellect like the angels that is full of the light of God. Almost, he almost, it almost seemed like if he received an infused intelligence from God himself. But from where did this light come? How did he receive this illumination and the virtues that ac accompany this illumination and holiness? The year 1264, Pope Urban, that had many problems in the Church, in the Universal Church, especially a great crisis about the faith in the Eucharist, he wanted to institute a universal feast Solemnity of Corpus and Blood of Christ, that is the beginning of the festivity of Corpus Christi, which we celebrate up to now. And he wanted a procession to mark this great event. It would be the first time that the Pope organized a procession with the Eucharist in public. And he wanted the people of God to understand who would receive in the streets of Rome? He wanted someone who could write some so some hymns, procession hymns, of Dominican friar, shared with the Pope that he knew another friar, a brother, who loved the Eucharist so much that they would almost spend nights and he would spend nights and days in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament. In a time where they didn't practice exposition of the Blessed Sacrament, this saint spent day and night in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament until some nights this brother found the other brother with his head next to the tabernacle. And he was called Thomas. Thomas Aquinas. When the Pope received news of the holiness of this Dominican friar, he wanted him to write some hymns. We know very well the hymns Pange Lingue Tantum Ergo, Adoro Te Devote. We continue singing those. The same words that he wrote in the year 1264 that he wrote some words of Adorite Devote, Adorite Devote Lauten Zetes. Tibi 
Te adoro con devoción. I adore you with devotion, hidden God. Occult under these appearances, my heart submits myself to you completely, and it rends itself to contemplate you. Lord Jesus, good pelican, cleanse me and the world with your blood that only one drop is necessary to abolish all the crimes in the entire world. St. Thomas Aquinas is the angelic doctor because he's a Eucharistic doctor and he received his illumination because of his and the wisdom he knew he needed and the faith he needed for the presence of the Eucharist that, and he asked forgiveness of sins and he only wanted to console Jesus in the Eucharist and receive the truth of Jesus truly present in the consecrated host. Today we celebrate a heart very close, someone very close to our hearts, this great saint, a Eucharistic heart. We conclude with some words of our mother founders. Jesus is the Redeemer of men. He remains with us truly in the Eucharist. Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament gives himself completely for the life of the world. A bishop of the Eucharist would say the Blessed Sacrament is the most powerful place on earth because this is where the three times holy to form, educate saints and the cooperation of His grace and holiness, and like St. John, St. Thomas Aquinas, all for the heart of Jesus through the heart of Mary.